Well, good afternoon. It is uh, Saturday, June 13th, 2020, Journal 354, T plus 439. Um, spent almost all day yesterday uh, working on the customer care book, and uh, which was a really interesting segue into this blog post and the morning's events. Uh, I start every morning out with Seth Godin. I've been doing that for probably longer than I can remember. Uh, we have coffee together every day. And uh, as I said in the written part of the blog post, I'm not sure whether uh, we, we enjoy each other as much because he agrees with me or I agree with him. But for the most part, we seem to be in agreement. And this morning's post was no different. It was about um, Krulak's law of leadership, which is fascinating, really, when you think about it, especially if a good part of your life has been involved in, in education and training, and customer service, and areas that encompass the warm, fuzzy stuff that is so much a part of the, the relationship that exists between individuals and companies, um, commerce in general, and, uh, and moments of truth in particular. And this blog post by Seth, which happened to have been incredibly short, was, uh, was also incredibly powerful. And it, it, it was a, more powerful for me than it might have been for somebody else, because um, it took me back in time and space to a flight across the country from Chicago uh, to LA, returning home from a speaking engagement in the Midwest, I found myself sitting alongside um, an American Airlines pilot who was commuting, who you know, was taking the bus from uh, O'Hare to LAX in order to pick up his flight, which was a, a Trans-Pacific flight, I believe to Japan, if I remember the conversation correctly. And it's really odd that I remember the conversation at all. Um, Although it wasn't really unusual for me to find myself sitting next to a senior flight attendant or a, or a, uh, a captain or navigator or co-pilot, um, co-captain, who was deadheading a trip back to wherever. But this was really interesting. And, and you know, it was one of those flights that was really pleasant. The conversation was nice. It, it was interspersed with nice long periods of silence so you could take a nap or relax and other periods of really interesting conversation as this guy happened to be a, a former military pilot. Um, but when we got to L.A., we found ourselves sitting um, at the American Airlines terminal, stuck in the jetway, waiting for the ground crew and baggage handlers to show up so that they could bring the plane to the gate and uh, unload the baggage and get everybody home. And we waited and we waited. And as people in the, uh, started to shift uncomfortably in their seats, uh, the pilot <laughs> turned around and he looked at me shaking his head and shrugged his shoulders. And he, he just simply said, he says, you know, he said, the success of this entire organization depends on the folks that are paid the least. And I thought that was a, a, an amazing observation. But as, as I recall, at the time I was reading Jan Carlson's book, Moment of Truth, in which she states that a moment of truth is any time anyone has an opportunity to come in contact with any aspect of your organization. If you're a business owner uh, or a service provider of any kind, and they have a, an opportunity to form an opinion of the quality of the service that you're providing. So that observation was particularly meaningful to me at the time. And I think it should probably be meaningful to everybody who's, in, you know, because sooner or later, we're all going to be involved in an interaction like that, either with a company or with um, a service provider, either as a provider or as a client. And we're going to have that opportunity to make that judgment. And, and um, I know at the shop, it was important to us to make sure that the young man that, that was our porter, driver, the young man who generally took clients home, 
was pleasant, you know, well-spoken, and just generally nice, because that's the impression we wanted our customers to have when they either got in the car or got out of the car, you know, on their way either to the shop or home. So it, it's something to think about um, on this beautiful Saturday morning uh, here in Southern California. I hope the weather's as nice where you are. I hope you're being safe. I hope you're being careful. Uh, I hope you stay focused. I hope you stay home. Um, we're watching the COVID cases climb again. So, you know, I know how careful I have to be, but I care about you too, so be careful as well. So stay home, stay safe, stay focused, stay well, and take care.